Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Matthew 26, verse 39. Going a little further, Jesus fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My Father, if it's, if it's possible, take this cup away from me. Yet, it's not my will but thine be done. Friends, this was the prayer of the Lord Jesus Christ here in this uh, garden 2,000 years ago. He was crying out to God, saying that, Lord, if it's possible, take this cup, take this burden. But remember that he was carrying the burden of the world. He's carrying the burden of your sin and my sins. And he said that, Lord, if it's up to me, maybe I won't. But no, I get to fulfill your plan. And the plan of God is for us to be saved. So friends, when he came here to pray in this garden, that started the journey of the Lord Jesus Christ towards the cross. Without this, friends, he could have not gone to the cross and die for our sins. But he said that, no, not my will. I want to fulfill your will in me. And of course, this is the extent of God's love for you and for me. So friends, that is also the extent of the, lo the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he yielded his life. He went to the cross, friends, knowing that that would be the salvation of our, our soul. And so friends, today, in this, in, in this garden, when he prayed, he said, that, not my will. Now, we also many times encounter the same thing. We got to make a choice many times. Are we going to submit to the will of the Father or not? So friends, let's do the same thing. Let's not do our own will, insist on our own will, but rather, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. Because the will of the Father is the best for us. So my prayer, friends, is that all of us, when we remember the Garden of God Gethsemane, remember that, not your will, but his will be done. Amen. So friends, uh, today, let us uh, in, rejoice in what Jesus had done. It's on that night when he was praying here that he fulfilled the will of God, the plan of God, and that plan is for our salvation. Amen. As mentioned, friends, that started his journey to the cross. And because of that, salvation came unto us. Hallelujah. So rejoice always every time that you see a garden like this. And I pray that one day you can also come here and uh, truly reflect on what Jesus had done and how he yielded his life and his will to the Father. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance on you and give you his shalom. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.